Superman has always had two identities. It's like looking into a funhouse mirror. But try to imagine if one day, the mirror cracked. Very sloppy, Lex. Sloppy and blatant. It was obvious this little warrior in his high-tech battle suit was dispatched by you. Indeed? Obvious? And just what do you consider obvious, Superman? Oh, little things, Luther. Like the fact that every component of this battle suit comes from a LexCorp company. Or the fact that this poor goon is carrying LexCorp ID. Like I said, sloppy. But not sloppy enough, Superman. If you were to check the records of those companies, I think you'd find all the components you refer to have been listed as stolen. And of course, this man was fired weeks ago. Computer records can always be faked, Luther. I think we'll wait and see what this man has to say when he regains consciousness. I'm afraid he won't be too terribly lucid. We developed this suit under contract from NASA for use up on the moon base. But we found its interface to be unstable. Anyone who wore the suit for more than an hour was left a complete vegetable. Apparently, this poor devil didn't know that when he stole the suit. So you see, Superman, you've come all the way to Hong Kong for nothing. There's no way you can connect this attack on your person with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. All right, Luther. We'll add this man's wasted life to the list of crimes you're going to pay for someday. And you will pay. Impudent young pup. Thinks his superhuman powers make him better than Lex Luthor. Well, he's very wrong. And this is the day I prove it to the world. Well, Dr. Teng? I believe we were successful, Mr. Luther. Believe? I didn't engineer your escape from mainland China so you could believe, Teng. I expect you to be absolutely certain. The mechanism has done what it was designed to do, sir. You may judge the degree of success for yourself. The sensors hidden throughout your office scanned every part of Superman's cellular and molecular structure. That data was fed into the Matrix as planned. Then why do you not claim complete success? I monitored the incoming data. We were working from the assumption that Superman is a human being. Mutated, but human. The data indicates that he is not. Not human? Are you telling me that this self-proclaimed champion of Earth is an alien? As difficult as that may be to believe, sir, yes, I believe Superman is not native to this planet. Probably not even to this star system. An alien, of course. It all fits. There's no other rational explanation for his powers. But what of Project Changeling, Ten? What effect has this discovery had on the duplication process? That we will soon see when we open the Matrix container. He's perfect. A perfect duplicate of Superman. Kang, he's fallen over. It is just as I feared, Mr. Luthor. The Matrix was created to duplicate any known form of life. But Superman is an unknown form of life. The body is crystallizing. What, what are you telling me, Ten? That the hundred million dollars I committed to this project are wasted? That two years of my life have been thrown away? I accept no blame for this, Luther. The duplication process would have worked perfectly if not for the unexpected X factor in Superman's cell structure. I don't want excuses, Tang. I wanted a duplicate Superman. One with his powers, his memory. The one who worked for me. I certainly did not want this bizarre. Get rid of this thing before anyone else sees it. I never want to see it or you again. I'm going home to Metropolis. Lucy! Lucy, I'm off to the salt mines now. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own, babe? Lois, please, I'll be just fine. You've got to stop worrying about me. Hey, that's what big sisters are for, kiddo. But you've got your sunglasses on in the house again. Dr. Kincaid said, I 
really don't care what he said, Lois. I'm not wearing these because I need to. I'm wearing them because I want to. I don't want anyone seeing my eyes. Lucy, believe me, your eyes don't look all that much different now than they did before. Before. Before I was blinded. Don't kid me, Lois. I know what I look like. And I don't want anyone else to see it. That's unfair, and you know it. Not every blind person has something visibly wrong with their eyes. No one could see anything wrong with your eyes. Yeah. Well, let me wallow in my bitterness, then. Let the whole damn world look at me and know I'm blind. Let them all pity me. Lucy! Oh, don't listen to me, sis. I just got up on the wrong side of bed this morning. Oh, go to work. Go be a crusading reporter and, and don't worry about me, please. Are you sure? I could call in sick today and we... I'll be fine. I've got a ton of Braille books to practice on that'll keep me occupied. Look, I'll even take my glasses off just for you. On the ledge outside Lois's penthouse, Lucy Lane thinks by herself. Why not? Why try to kid myself any longer? I'm a flight attendant. I've never had the slightest interest in doing anything else. Never trained to do anything else. And there's just no demand for blind flight attendants. So forgive me, Lois. <laughs> Superman? Is it really you? My sister told me she met you a bunch of times, but I, I never expected. Superman? Why don't you say something? You d just stop me from killing myself. Aren't you going to lecture me or something? Why do you feel so strange? So dusty? Superman? Superman, are you still here? Greetings, wage slaves. What's news? It would be news if you came in one morning and didn't say that. Oh, very droll, Kent. You're wasting your time as a reporter. You could be writing comedy monologues for undertakers. And good morning to you too, Lois. How's Lucy today? Any improvement? No, the doctors say her sight could be restored if they could just find the proper combination of chemicals. But they still haven't found out just what it was the hijacker threw in her face last year. Hey, guys, did you hear the latest? No, Jimmy, what's up? Somebody busted the front window of a men's clothing store over on Bleecker. Smashed a couple thousand dollars worth of glass to steal a hundred dollar suit. And right next door is a jewelry shop with $50,000 in precious stones in the window. Hmm. My super hearing detected a commotion in the downstairs lobby. A quick look with my x-ray vision should... Great Scott! Uh, catch you people later. I want to follow up on that story. Thanks for the tip, Jimmy. Story? What story? It was just a weird little robbery. Maybe, Jimmy, but if Clark Kent wants a piece of it, so do I. Hold it right where you are, Kent. I don't know what you think you're on to, but you're not going to scoop me again. Kent? Kent? Now, where in blazes did he go to? Change to Superman at super speed so Lois wouldn't see. Everybody's gone from the lobby, but this strangely dressed creature. What is he doing with those sunglasses? He's popped out the lenses, leaving just the frames. Hey, fella, maybe you'd like to explain just what... Great Scott! He's dressed as me. As Superman and as Clark Kent. <laughs> he robbed the clothing store for that jacket. So he could look like me when I'm dressed as Kent. I'd better get him to come along with me before any planet staffers see him. Ah! Superman, what happened? Someone smacked him into the side of the bus, that's what. Please, everyone stay back. Don't get between him and me. 
I don't know what that creature is capable of, but at the very least, he has my strength. If he possesses any other powers like mine, he could kill anyone who gets in his way, including quite possibly me. Okay, let's try that one again. Ow! He's got heat vision, as intense as my own. I can resist it for a while, but the pain. Gotta stop the beams before I pass out from the pain. Can only do it this way while he's standing atop that car. <laughs> Knocked him off the car by picking it up. Now to press my advantage and move in fast while he's still off guard. But how can I stop this creature? If he's really as powerful as I am, how can I beat him without destroying myself? He's at least as invulnerable as me. Except, what's that dust that flies off him at every impact? It's almost as if the creature is crumbling. Ah! Oh no! Superman! It's Lois. The last thing I need is for Lois to see this creature dressed as both my identities. She'll put two and two together. So let's see how my friend here likes being on the receiving end of my heat vision. <laughs> Blast! It got rid of his so-called disguise, but it didn't even slow him. Ow! Superman! What's happening? Who is this man? Lois, stay back! Don't! He let me go! He put me down wherever you are! Superman, do something! That creature really does have all my powers. Now he seems to share the feelings I have toward Lois. I've got to stop him. I don't know what this thing is or where it came from, but it seems to think it's Superman. Maybe I can reason with it. Uh, listen, can we talk? I'm Lois Lane, a reporter for the Daily Planet. I... Uh, good grief, it's bringing me home! Lois? Is that you? Is that Superman? It's me, all right, kiddo, but this isn't... Lucy? Can you see me? Not very clearly, sis. But yes, my vision started to clear a little just after Superman left. Superman? He was here? Lucy, what's going on? I, I don't know. It's all too crazy, but... This man, he was here. And after he left, I started to see shapes. Shadows. Lois, Lucy, get away from him. Superman, thank goodness. Superman? You mean there's two of him? Only one of the real McCoy, Lucy. Now get clear, you two. I've got to corral this caricature of me before any more damages. Done! afraid of this. I've never had to go up against anyone even remotely as powerful as I am. I've fallen into the habit of pulling my punches. But this double is cutting loose with the equivalent of my full strength. Looks like only one of us will walk away from this fight alive. And it won't be me, unless... That dust comes off the creature every time he moves. Perhaps if I examine it with my microscopic vision... Hello. It's not organic. It only mimics living cells. But it's not alive. That means our ugly friend is some kind of android, an artificial being, just one step ahead of a robot. That gives me one chance, but only one. I've got to hit that brute with everything I've got. He's hurling himself at me at full speed. No turning back now. It's him or me. This is it. said earlier about her vision being partially restored after contact with the creature. 
I think it must have been caused by exposure to some of the dust from its body. Somehow, it counteracted the chemicals that originally caused her blindness. Shattering the thing's unliving body created enough of the dust to cure her. And you knew Superman? You knew that when you risked your life to destroy him? No, I didn't, Lucy. But somehow, I think he did. Be sure not to miss the sixth and final book in the exciting series, The Saga of the Man of Steel. What does Superman learn about his true Kryptonian parents? Will he finally solve the mystery that has haunted him for his entire life? The answer to these questions and more in book six, The Haunting 